All right, third time works. What I'm doing is I'm putting this on uh, my data so that it'll just go straight through. Some systems are working, it's kind of crazy right now. I don't know what's going on, but this word is going out. We can have a great 2021 because as we trust and believe God, great things are gonna happen. Great things are gonna happen. But we do need to pray, we do need to fast, and we do need to seek God. Hey, Rosalie, glad you made it back. We do need to seek God. Many people do not fast and do not pray. Uh, but we have opportunity to do this for 21 days. Now, and the best part, it's online and this is going around the world. Hallelujah for that. I like that. Going around the world is a good thing. So what does that look like? We're going to be praying every morning at 8.30 Pacific Standard Time. That's 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I think it's 2 or 3 a.m. in Australia and Indonesia, between 2 and 3, depending on where you are, the next day. So, but we're doing it every single day. So for you in Australia and Indonesia, it'll be starting on the 2nd of January. But I'm putting this out today yeah thank you for that we're starting january 1st it's going to be exciting and uh, you know i i got a revelation of fasting and when you fast what i found is that you are actually running to god i see it in my spirit is our we're denying our flesh denying our uh, our desires and seeking our one desire jesus christ when we choose to lay everything else down and choose to run in the spirit towards him there'll be tremendous change in your life you know i had some of my greatest breakthroughs were this year S seriously i know because we prayed 21 days of prayer and fasting last year it was 20 days actually and what happened was i had um bigger increase in some areas of my life than I've ever had before and I'm I'm still working on breakthrough even today and I'm not going to stop amen I'm just going to keep pushing sometimes it gets down to one foot in front of the other that you just got to do it you just got to do it keep pushing keep pushing see God inside of you is greater than anything else in this world praise God yeah, with talking, thank you, Rosalie. That's a really great question. January one, fasting and praying. Can we, how, can we can fast? Can fast whatever we choose? Correct. Yes, but it's food. It's not fasting television. It's not. It's that that's not a fast. That is a fast of a different kind, but that's not a God fast. So the God fast is food. So whether it's you know. Uh, Daniel fast or you go down to one meal a day or you just drink liquids that's between you and God and I it's not up to me to determine what you and God decide to do I'm not God <laughs> you determine the type of fast and you know they say if you're over 60 or over 65 different people say you know be mindful of how you fast God is God is seeing what you're doing I remember one time I was a baby Christian and I had to fast for someone because I wanted him saved. <laughs> and so my biggest fast was I, I decided I would have no desserts or cookies or sweets for a month. That was my big fast. That was what I was going to do to see this guy saved. And you know what? Within the month, he got saved. It was so funny. I went, oh, I should have done this 10 years ago. But anyways, anyways, so that's if you can fast for some relatives to get saved. Amen? Faster, your family maybe. I don't know, you determine what it is, but we're gonna be running towards God and we're gonna be trusting Him for the, a marvelous breakthrough for our lives. Marvelous breakthrough, so it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, so you decide what it is. 
your type of fast. And I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing because that's between me and God. And uh, I, I respect that in your life and I know you respect that in my life. And that's good to know, right? It's good to know because um, it's important. But be faithful to your fast because you're running towards God. And when you know that as you're fasting, you're actually and gaining speed in the spirit and gaining strength in the spirit by fasting, what'll happen is, oh man, your life will change. Now, while you're fasting, you know, it, it talks in the scripture about what to do in a fast and why we fast. And um, I don't have that scripture up right now, but just give me a second, I'll find it here. Let me see, where is that? It's in Isaiah. Let me see, Isaiah. I believe it's 58 or 59. But the point is, in all of this, we're running after God, right? We're running after Him. We're seeking Him. He is the rainmaker. He says, you know, ask in Zechariah 10, verse 1, it says, Ask for the rain in the time of the latter rain, and I will make bright clouds and pour out rain on everyone grass in the field, every blade of grass in the field. So if we ask for rain, he's going to pour out rain on us. And that rain is the rain of his word, the rain of his anointing, the rain of his grace, the rain of his righteousness to make things right, the rain of revelation, the rain, oh, he just outpours, outpours, outpours. And we can have, wow, it's just awesome when you can do that, right? Just awesome. So we're going to do that. So let me see, let me find the scripture here. Jesus says, "You don't have asked because you don't. Uh, you don't have because you haven't asked." Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Praying for someone is so awesome. Hallelujah. Let me find the scripture here. All right. All right. Where is this here? Okay. Here we are. It is Isaiah 58. All right. In verse 2, Isaiah 58, verse 2, it says, Yet they seek me daily and delight to know my ways as a nation that did righteousness and forsook not the ordinance of their God. They ask for me the ordinances of justice. They take delight in approaching to God. And that goes on in verse 3. Wherefore have you fasted, say they, and they, thou seek not? Wherefore have we afflicted our soul, and thou takest no knowledge? Behold, in the day of your fast you find pleasure and exact all your labors. And, and God talks about the fast that he has chosen. It goes down to verse 5. Is it such a fast that I have chosen, a fast, a day for a man to afflict his soul? Is it to bow down his head as a bulrush and to spread sackcloth and ashes under him? Wilt thou call this a fast and an acceptable day of the Lord? Is not this fast the fast that I have chosen? To loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, and to let the oppressed go free, that, they, that you might break every yoke. Every yoke. Glory to God. I'm holding this by my hand, so, you know, I didn't, I'm doing this quickly. Praise God. Is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry, and that thou would bring the poor that are cast out to thy house? When you seest the naked, thou covered him, and thou hidest not thyself from thine own flesh. King James Version, what can I say? Amen. Verse 8. Then shall thy light, everyone say, then, then. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thy health that spring forth speedily, and thy righteousness shall go, f go before thee, and the glory of the Lord shall be thy reward, rear reward. God wants to reward those who diligently seek them. First, you have to know he is God, and he rewards those who diligently seek him. As we seek him, there is a reward from heaven. And we, we, we believe that. We seek God for everything he is. And we know he will reward us for that. Uh, you know, there is a reward. Praise God. Yeah, then, then. So there are some things that we have to do. We have to 
run to God. We need to fast and pray. Jesus said, you know, it's not um, if, it's a when. It's a when we fast. When They're not going to do it when the disciples and the apostles were with Jesus and he was on the earth. They didn't fast. But he knew after he left, they would be fasting. Fasting is very vital for us. It actually does a physical body reset depending on your type of fast. It's very good for you. Um, I love it. I used to hate fasting, but I've gotten to the point where I really love to fast with a, a fasting that works for, for me and uh, it's powerful, it's powerful. So we're gonna be doing that for 21 days and the, the broadcast will be at 8.30 in the morning, every morning, um, and that's Pacific Standard Time. So if you are on the West Coast, it's 11.30. If you are in Indonesia or, or Australia, it'll be about two or three in the morning. So you can always catch the rewind, that's fine, I understand. Um, I'm gonna have different people on from my uh, who are connected to me. I call them my team, but we're each other's team. And we're all around the world and we're gonna be talking about prayer. And we're gonna be discussing different things. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, but uh, it's gonna be a prayer time. It's gonna be a revelation time. It's gonna be a connecting time. Um, it won't be like hours and hours. We're going for a minimum of a half an hour. So half an hour, just over half an hour, we don't want to make it too long because I know that you'll be spending time during your day fasting and praying. But I know you would like a fresh word with regard to what's going on. Well, at Rosalie, that's between you and God. You just do as you please, no matter your type of fast. I see what you're saying. You do what you need. I, uh, you, your approval is before God. He's the one who, as you talk to him, he'll let you know which fast. I find that if I fast and God has not told me to fast, it's a little tough. But when I ask God uh, for what he would like me to do and how he'd like to, that to happen, it works really good. And sometimes he'll make you fast and you don't even realize you're fasting. Then you realize, oh wow, God has been making me fast for a reason and something will come up that you need to pray diligently for. Amen. God's so good that way. All right. So God wants us to fast. He does. And he wants us to pray. We're going to be seeking the rainmaker. I, I talked about the scripture. Zechariah 10.1. Ask for the rain in the time of the latter rain. And the, and the Lord will make bright clouds and bring rain on every one grass of the field. There will be an outpouring. You know, I remember Paul saying, I planted, Apollos watered, and all the while God gave the increase. That's scripture. That's what God says. And so as we look to God, we'll know that he's watering what we have within us. There'll be some planting, there's going to be some watering, but as we seek the rainmaker, calling him the rainmaker, amen, because he's the one who makes the rain. Amos chapter 4 verse 7 talks about that. We're going to go into that more in January about he makes it rain on this city or in that city and where he doesn't let it rain, it withers up. So we don't want any more withering in sickness and disease or stuff that's been going on. We need rain. We need rain for our personal lives, for our families, for our churches, for our cities, for our uh, provinces or states or whatever, precincts or whatever, uh, uh, perfectors or whatever they are, depending on your nation, and we need it for our nations, and we have to ask for it. God says, you ask for the rain. You come together, you ask for this rain, and he's the one who's gonna make it rain. He is the rainmaker. So we need to diligently seek him, absolutely. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Well, listen, I'm going to let you go for now. Thank you for joining me on this little pop-up to uh, just invite you out. I want to personally invite you. Share this broadcast with people because we want them on, on the broadcast. It's going to be broadcast on YouTube. It's, it's going to be broadcast on uh, Facebook, my personal page, and on uh, one of my other pages. Uh, so... I'm not sure which one, but I'm going to put it out there in all of them. 
so that we can get this thing done. Amen? Hallelujah. And if we have internet problems, we'll just go to straight basic data and get this done this way. I don't care. We're going to get this done well. So I love you. God loves you. Thank you so much for joining me for this short little broadcast. Just to remind you, January 1 is coming. I'll be, I'll be ready to go 8.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Amen. Oh, and in February, if you live in the lower mainland of British Columbia, I'm going to be doing some uh, prayer walks at, down at Rocky Point in Port Moody. They have a beautiful trail. We can walk, we can talk, and pray. Amen. And I'll have a word for you. You can bring a bag lunch every Saturday at noon, starting in February, the first Saturday in February. We're going to be doing this. We're going to be connecting at, you know, socially distanced, doing all those lovely things, but we can be outside walking and talking. I know that it'll be a wonderful, close-knit group of people who are on fire for Jesus, who want to do something. And we need to see each other's faces. I mean, this, this mask stuff is pretty irritating because you don't see one another's face. And that's not good. So listen, God bless you. Thank you for joining me. We'll talk soon. I wish you were close here by too, Amanda. I just saw your post. I wish you were here too. We would have a glorious time. But I'll see you online as much as you can be. We'll have a glorious time. I might put you on the air. Hallelujah. I'd love that. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.